Mazuma TV back with some more boxing talk. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mazuma Nation. Shout out to the Mazuma Mob. I'm back in the building, man. All right, y'all. We got some pretty exciting news. Um, nothing official, of course, but uh, we finally uh, got word from Jamel Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's been real quiet, staying locked in. Like He's been on the scenes. Like He was at the Earl Spencer Terrence Crawford fight. He was there during the, the weigh-ins and all that stuff. But um, he, he was he, he had like a little interview, but he hasn't really been saying much since the announcement of him fighting Saul Canelo Alvarez at the end of September. Um, he came out with with a post on Instagram with a few pictures showing that he's locked in, um, training his ass off, um, and he's looking like he, he he's hungry. He's looking motivated. Um, but in the caption of that Instagram post, he was saying how. Um, after he shocks the world, meaning after he beats Canelo Alvarez at the end of September, he said he's going right back down to 154. He said that he's the king, saying that 154 is his division. So he's making it clear that after 168, he's not staying there. He's going right back down to 154 to claim his title as the undisputed champ of 154 pounds. And he says after Earl Spence rematches Terrence Crawford, um, that he'll run it with Terrence Crawford right after that. So that's pretty exciting news, man. Um, and as far as I know, Jamel always been a uh, somebody who um, doesn't run from anybody. You know what I mean? Like he he fought everybody he needed to fight on his this, uh, on his pursuit to undisputed at 154. You know what I'm saying? And um, him and Terrence Crawford been going back and forth. They clearly don't like care for each other. Um, I heard Terrence Crawford say that. He don't, uh, it's not that he hates Jermel, he just don't care for him. And I'm sure Jermel feel the same way, you know what I'm saying? Jermel is a extremely passionate, emotional guy. So um, a lot of things that, that goes on in the sport, if he feels like it's disrespect, he takes it personal. And I'm sure that against Terrence Crawford, um, he'll be extremely focused for that as well. He'll be locked in. Um, and he's definitely looking for some get back for Earl Spence, you know what I'm saying? That's if Earl Spence don't get that... Um, get that back in their rematch you know what i'm saying by the end of the year which is extremely dope man um that's that's great news to hear um i haven't heard a response from terrence crawford but um maybe there's nothing really left there's nothing really to say you know what i'm saying um ideally how i would like to see things pan out is after the canelo fight you know the wbo is stripping jamel you know what i mean as we know that's exactly what they plan on doing and they're going to elevate Tim Zhu to the full champion for the WBO at 154. So with that being considered, I'm sure if Terrence Crawford moves up, you know what I mean, it's 154 pounds. And let's say, hypothetically speaking, that he beats Earl again or Earl doesn't accept the rematch clause right away. Um, he'll be in line to face Tim Zhu for that WBO title, just like he was in line to face Jeff Horn for his WBO title. So that'll be a dope fight. Um, I think Terrence Crawford has all the tools. You know what I mean? He has full capability of getting rid of Tim Zhu. Um, I'm confident that he'll beat Tim Zhu and he can become the champion. And similar to how him and Spence played out, he'll have one belt. You know what I mean? Jamel will have the three. And then he's in line to be three-time undisputed champion in three different weight classes. Um, if Jamel wins then he'll be in line to be a two-time undisputed champion at 154 pounds because they stripped him. So if he gets that belt back, he'll reclaim his undisputed uh, status. You know what I'm saying? So that's extremely dope, man. Um, let me know what y'all think about that right there. Uh, Jermel making it clear that he's on Terrence Crawford's head as soon as he gets the opportunity to do so. You know what I mean? And uh, Terrence Crawford been saying that he wants to fight. Um, he's been he's been calling out Jermel. Um, ever since his victory against Earl Spence. And even before that, he was looking to fight Jermel. So um, let me know what y'all guys think right there, man. Uh, what do y'all think of this fight against Terrence Crawford and Jermel? Who do y'all have winning? Uh, what do y'all think about the Jermel Canelo fight? Everything I mentioned, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. This is Mizuma TV. Um, shout out to Mizuma Nation. Shout out to the Mizuma Mob. And I'm out of here. Peace.